Now, obviously, all eyes are, of course, on the presidential election, but today's also a big day for voters right here in Tennessee. There are several local storylines we're going to be watching very closely over the next couple of hours. Some heated races, a possible supermajority, and, of course, the impact of Tennessee's new voter ID law. We've got team coverage to break down the latest on all of these storylines. We're going to begin on Capitol Hill, where Channel 4's Ann McCloy is standing by with more on the critical races here in the mid-state. Good morning, Ian. Tennessee has 11 electoral votes, which are expected to go to Governor Romney. And here's what to look forward to in the Senate race. Senator Bob Corker should have no trouble winning re-election, according to polls from MTSU and the Tennessean. The Democratic nominee, Mark Clayton, has been disavowed by the state Democratic Party. Over in the House, the big race to watch tonight, Scott Desjardins and Eric Stewart. Recent polls show this race is neck and neck for the 4th District. Most of Observers thought Desjardins would easily defend his seat, but a scandal involving a mistress and pressure for her to have an abortion has put this race into play. His Democratic challenger, Eric Stewart, is a state senator. Congresswoman Marsha Blackburn is almost certain to win re-election. She does not have any big-name opponents. And Representative Jim Cooper is also expected to easily hold on to his seat for 5th District. His Republican challenger, Brad Statz, was recently in the news for posting a gun on Facebook book and telling President Obama, welcome to Tennessee. As far as state government, Governor Haslam is predicting the GOP will pick up super majorities in both chambers. Republicans are shooting to secure a super majority by winning two thirds of the 99 seat House and 33 seat Senate. Democrats are trying to win two vacant seats and also take over a seat currently held by Republican Jim Gatto. And today's election will be the first where redistrict redistricting comes into play. Um, incumbents are in new areas, and some are saying that the lines were drawn to favor Republicans. To let you know, the polls uh, do open in uh, just a few minutes, 7 a.m. in Davidson County, but you really need to check uh, before you head to the polls because it varies by county. Some open at 9 and some open at 8 in the morning as well. My colleague Julia Breck is standing by at Davidson County Election Commission. She has everything you need to know this morning before you head to the polls. Well, good morning, Ann. It, it is an exciting day. It's voting day across America, and in Davidson County, the polls open now in less than a half hour. And if you plan to vote today, don't forget to bring this along an ID. This is the first time that Tennessee voters are going to be asked to provide an ID to vote. So here's a list of what will work at the polling sites. College IDs will not work. And if you forget your ID, you can cast a provisional ballot. You then have two days to show proof of ID. Now, if you don't have a ride to the polls, there are groups ready to help. In Davidson County, the Republicans and Democrats are offering rides. Just give them a call at the number on your screen. To cast a ballot, you must go to your assigned precinct. If you don't know where that is, don't worry. We've made it easy for you. Just go to WSMV.com. We've got all the location listed along with times as well. Most polling locations today will be opening at 7 a.m., but to be sure, just check with your county. Now, today's election will be watched closely by the Department of Justice. Representatives will be there both in Davison and Shelby counties to monitor the election. This is a first for Tennessee. And something else to note, as you head out to the poll sites today, those campaign buttons, well, they're not allowed inside. And campaign shirts, they must be covered up as well. We're live at the Davison County Election Commission. Julia Bruck, Channel 4 News Today. All right, Julia, real quick, what should people do if they have problems when voting? Well, Holly, election officials here tell me that if you have a problem while you're at a polling location, they say do not wait, give them a call right away, or let the election officer there know you have a problem. But they say the biggest thing is do not wait until you get home to let them know that something went wrong. Back to you. Let them know immediately. Good info. Julia, thank you. And stay with Channel 4 for Decision 2012 coverage tonight. We'll have nonstop live reports from Channel 4 and NBC News all night. Live streaming video of key election events online and on your mobile devices. Live conversation on Facebook and Twitter as well throughout the evening. And new this year, you can get election results by text message. Just text the word VOTE to 28201 to sign up. And of course, we've got a special section set up on our website. Head over to WSMV.com. Scroll down and you'll see the decision 2012 link. We're going to post live results and stories throughout the night on the site again. That's WSMV.com. All right.